This is the shortest possible tutorial to show you how to run the GDB debugger in STM Cube IDE to debug the VESCA code. This assumes that you have a STL link that is on your machine right now connected to your motor controller. First, we're going to go over to Vetter's website. Grab the link for the code. Grab that code whatever way you want to. Here comes the repo. Let's make sure that it's here. There it is. Then fire up cube IDE. And in this case, I'm going to start with a completely clean build. So I'll just start a new folder. Open it up. Get rid of this screen and go to create a new make file project in a directory containing existing code. Now, I'm just going to find the location of not my folder, but where the BLDC code is and open that up. And I want to specify this tool chain and then hit this. Now, watch this little indexer is indexing on all the files, so you want to let that run first. And the main thing here, there's all your files. Main thing here is to make changes to the properties so your build gets done properly. And that's going to happen in a couple ways. Take a look at this here. Go to behavior. Behavior is basically specifying your build target. So that's an example of one of the boards that we could build. And then another item is for us to go to MCU settings and we have to plug in the correct MCU that we're all familiar with for the VESC project. That's in there. See CPU Cortex. And then one more trick under behavior is that we want to enable a parallel build with unlimited jobs apply and close and now uh, this will build it's going to take a few minutes and while we're waiting as i mentioned what you want to do is get an st link connect it to your usb port there's five wires that are responsible for connecting to your um, motor controller. This thing is done. Notice that it's made this elf file in build. So the next thing we're going to do is run over here and create a new debug configuration. Double click on this. Take a look. There is your elf file right there ready to go. Everything else should be good to go. Take a look at the debugger. You're going to be setting it on ST link. All these other settings should be all right. And we've got an access port it's telling us that it knows something about the architecture that it's going to use. If I hit debug, this should run. It's connecting to the chip right now, erasing it, running it, loading it, asking me if I want to switch something in the interface. Okay, so that's good news. This is um, main. And for example, if I wanted to set a breakpoint in main, I might click here and then hit go. And right now it's basically executed the program and has stopped at this position. And if you um, were able to look at your board and take a look at the status of your lights, you could step through this and watch the lights come on and off. So that's all you need to know. Good luck.